Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, I am discussing, I'm making the announcement that I am starting a new program, a new workout program. Now, just a little bit of backstory for those of you who are new to this channel. I have done a ton of Beachbody workouts and I have filmed, documented all of that and shared it right here on this channel. I will link a few of those videos down below. But back then, I was a Beachbody coach. Now, I'm still a fan of Beachbody. I'm still a fan of their products. I still believe in the products and the programs that they create, but I no longer do it for work. So I will not be trying to sell anything to you. I'm not trying to get you to join any challenge groups. I will link a referral link down below if you want to purchase the program, but it's completely optional. There's no obviously obligation in me not like expecting that from this video. I really am just doing this program for me and I wanna share with you guys just to like offer value and inspiration and for people that are searching what the program's about, they can find that. All of that being said, I know pretty much nothing about this program. I am doing the newest Beachbody program, I think it's the newest, called Shift Shop. Now this will be the first program that I have done since the Bombshell Body Guide. So it has been a pretty long time since I have dove into an intense program. And like I said, I'm doing this entirely for me. It's not to lose weight, it's just to be healthy again and to get back into a routine of taking care of me, working out, feeling good, and I wanna bring you guys along for the entire journey. I'm not going to follow the nutrition guide, I'm going to continue eating the way I always eat with my plant-based diet. So I hope you guys enjoy this, I hope you get some value from it. Thank you for always following me along on my journey, and until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye. so I can really get a feel of where everything's at during these workouts on day one. Only round one and I'm tired. I'm done with day one. I can't tell if I want to throw up because I'm sick or because the workout was hard. <laughs> I used the modifier twice today, but here's the thing, that's more than I was doing yesterday. In fact, I don't think I've worked out this hard since I did size, however long ago that was. It was difficult, <coughs> I'm sick, so it was extra difficult, but I completed day one, and day one is the hardest with everything, with every new habit, so. I just finished day two of Shift Shop, and what I can tell you is that mentally, this is a battle um, because I'm so used to pushing myself to the extreme with every workout program I do, gym and at the home, and I'm feeling really weak. Like my muscles are giving out really quickly. My chest cold is causing me to have coughing fits where I feel like throwing up. And a little bit mentally it's getting to me, making me feel like I'm weak and I should be doing more. And I have to keep reminding myself that one, I'm sick and two, it's been a really long time since I have done a program of this intensity. So day two is done. I can't wait till I'm not sick to see if that really is holding me back and so I can really push myself, but that's how I'm feeling on this day. I just finished day three. I look crazy, I'm getting in the shower. Um, today, it felt really difficult. I started coughing at the end, but I felt like I worked out better, felt like I pushed harder. So I would say that's progress. I made progress today compared to yesterday and the day before. 
I just completed day four and one thing I want to say that I really like about this trainer is that he constantly makes reference to or specifically says this is not torture. Working out is not torture. You might as well have fun doing it. We should be doing this for us, for whatever our goal is to be more active with our children, to look better, to feel better. I didn't get to record my thoughts yesterday. Week two is when the program gets a little progressive. Your workouts are a little bit longer, a little bit harder. And I was really scared going into that because it's been a long time since I've done workouts that are longer than 25 minutes top. So it definitely was difficult. I had some issues with, you know, my coughing issue and just feeling really burnt out, but I completed it all the way through. to um, go up and wait, but I lied. I don't feel challenged and there's no point in doing a workout if you don't feel challenged. So I'm gonna take it slow and I'm gonna go up to 7.5 pounds instead of the five. confession it is now Sunday of week two of shit shop and I did not work out yesterday and I did not work out Friday Friday I was out of the house all day long so I just I decided I didn't want to be up super late doing the workout and then Saturday I spent time with my family so it didn't get done in the past I would have really beat myself up over that and I kind of did for about 0.5 seconds to be honest with you I did not plan on making up the missed days I was just going to start over and go in strong to week three but I have decided that I am going to catch up on one of the days. I just got back from the movies with my kids and to be honest with you, I kind of just want to lay down and watch TV or do something around the house. But I know that once I finish this workout, I will feel better about it. Like, yes, I want to be lenient and kind of like take the pressure off of being perfect with it. But I also want to go into it with the idea that I went into it to begin with and that is to better myself and to challenge myself and to get back to a place of me. which I believe the workouts bump up to 45 minutes. And I had to run some errands this morning. So it is 10.51, I haven't eaten. I'm so hungry, but I don't wanna like wait and do my workout hours from now. So I'm going to make some quick avocado toast just to have like a little bit of something in my stomach and then probably wait about 30 minutes and start day one of week three. Also, before I start my workout, I'm taking my vitamins, which I will share with you guys later. And I am making some brown rice and black beans. 
so that I can have basically Chipotle-esque um, rice bowls throughout the week. And of course, always drinking water. really quick about this workout he talks about how on the meal plan at this point you have cut out carbs I get the whole theory of cutting out carbs I understand it from like the perspective of studying nutrition and fitness and all that kind of stuff but I will say like as a person who eats a plant-based diet a vegan diet I'm glad that I can kind of eat whatever I want whenever I want obviously I can't go you know eating junk all the time and I might not have the same results as these people might have but I like being on a diet or a nutrition lifestyle that I don't feel like I have to eliminate things give things up I can eat how I want to eat whenever I want to eat it because it's I consider it fuel for my body I don't feel like I'm trying to get a certain kind of result or whatever. I'm just eating according to what my body wants and what my body needs. If you choose to follow the meal plan, listen, there are people that work very hard on creating these meal plans so that they pair efficiently with the program to get you the best results, but that's entirely up to you. I don't feel that pressure. I'm gonna continue eating the way I eat. Right now I'm gonna go add a carb to my Fab Four smoothie and I'm gonna feel great about it. And I don't know, it was just a thought I had while I was working out. But we settled for the last. Couldn't let you want it though. Who am I to let you down? No. Who am I to let you Guys, apparently, strength 45. It's more brutal than I originally thought because my glutes are so sore today. Today, I am burning up. I feel like it's 100 degrees in my house. I feel the heat just like sitting on my face. I'm so hot. Oh.
I was just thinking while I was working out that I feel like I've been complaining a lot during this program. I'm trying to be authentic and share with you guys like my true feelings and what I'm feeling in the moment. And these complaints or struggles are coming from a deeper place, but I don't want to discuss it. I don't want to do it in length here. I want to discuss that in the program review. But today's workout is done. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, except for I did feel like super low energy. But I completed it, and that's better than not doing it at all. So today is the very last day of shift shop. I'm doing strength 45 for like the fourth time this week. But after that, we will be done. It'll be over, and then I can take photos and video and look at the results and kind of reflect on my journey to this point. Must be so nice to lay there all comfy cozy while mommy works out. Do you feel good about yourself? You Phoenix, do you feel good about yourself? Do you want to work out or no? Who am I to let you down? 